5 GMH. I'm from uh, Wigan, also known as Pyland. And um, how would I describe myself? I'm a graffiti bomber. Let's go with that. I go out and I get up, put your name about, basically just vandalise. Well, basically, I got into graffiti um, from watching old films when I was a kid. Uh, you watch something like Beverly Hills Cop, you see trains smashed, and you think, I want to do that. Um, seeing as I was always writing on walls with crayons as a kid, you might as well take it to the next level, you know? Obviously, I like to take credit for my work. <laughs> It'd be kind of stupid if I didn't, really, you know? If I just went out and put it up there and people didn't know he'd done it, then what's the point? Yeah, obviously with Graf, you, you go out, you know, people only know the name, they don't know the face, but I don't really see the point in that. Might as well have people know it as you. Um, what sort of things do I normally do? Um, normally, you know, I, I moved away from the traditional graffiti of just letters. I, I normally do character work. Characters is where it's at for me. I think more people appreciate it, they'll leave it alone if you put a character up, you know, you don't get hassled. You go up and stick up a load of letters that no one can read, no one's really into that unless they're into graffiti. Uh, do I think it's more socially acceptable? Uh, yeah, 100%, 100%. I mean, it's cool to write graffiti, you know? Never used to be, it is now. Every man and his dog seems to do it. Not every man and his dog can do it, but they all try. So, yeah, I'd say it's more acceptable. It's better for me, it's better for all of us. Resin and I'm from Liverpool and I would describe myself as a street artist, illustrator, graffiti artist. I got into street art about five years ago and I was always into illustration and art and things like that. Um, there's not really any like deep underlying message in my work and the kind of stuff I'm into is like illustration which is generally like you know there's words and you write you draw a picture for it sort of thing it's not like I'm not trying to express anything so much. My street art, I generally do like characters with like loads of eyes and loads of arms and stuff. With them, I don't, I'm, I'm not interested in any credit for it. I like to just do them and for people to see them and not know where they came from and things just pop up overnight. It's a difficult one because I think street art's become more accepted through like Banksy and stuff. But having said that, I mean, any other street artist that isn't Banksy is going to get arrested for doing a piece where's Banksy. It's like, you know, glass round it and red tape and stuff. I've actually not even really ever thought about it. I think the future kind of at the moment is internet based. Back in the day, like people, you know, you'd see trains go past and you'd remember things or you'd have photos yourself that you'd taken, like physical copies. But now with things like Instagram and stuff, you know, you can do a legal wall and take a picture and you've got a thousand likes and everyone knows who you are.